Hey guys, welcome back to another fun tutorial on voice flow. In this uh, video, what we will do is we'll look at creating a quick skill using a REST API. We will be using uh, numbersapi.com. It is a fun API. It basically gives you a fun fact based on a number. So let's say a fact for 42 is 42 is the number of parts on a pair of standard six sided dice. So let's say I say 100. The fact about 100 is 100 is the number of yards in American football field, not including the end zones. So we will use this API and quickly create a scale in about uh, less than 5 to 10 minutes. So let's get started. So uh, the API is pretty straightforward. It's just the URL with the number. And uh, since VoiceFlow only accepts JSON responses, we have to look at uh, how to get JSON response. So the, okay, JSON response is basically you pass question mark JSON. So let's get started. Uh, let me create a new project, and uh, I'll name it fact o number. Since this is an English skill, I will quickly select all the English regions, and uh, this skill should be available in all these regions by default once it is live. So yep. Once we are done building the skill, we'll. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll launch it on LSS Skill Store. We'll upload it for uh, certification, and uh, in the next one, what we will also do is uh, look at how to upload the same skill for uh, Google Assistant Store. So now that you have the canvas, the first step is uh, to get the input from the user. So what we will do is, uh, as a first step, we'll ask the user for an, a number. So we'll do hola. Um, and then uh, ideally you would keep the interaction clear with the user so uh, let's say the number and i will give you an interesting fact about it so now the user will respond so we'll quickly do a capture block and capture the user's response uh, as a number so the slot type will be number and uh, the variable will be user underscore number since this is not a variable we'll just do create now that we have captured we'll just do first ideally you should if you name your blocks it is easier to organize later on if you have like a complex skill so the next step is send this number to the api and get the response right so i'll quickly do oh sorry about that i'll quickly delete this we were supposed to get the api block in the api block the endpoint url is numbersapi.com slash the number itself so we'll insert the variable where we stored the user's response question mark json and then uh, here in the transformed variable is where we will store the fact so um, i will do number underscore fact as the variable where we have to store the fact of the number that we receive from the API and to enter the object path I would uh, recommend using the test request button once you click on it it will ask you for what is your input number I will do 89 and do send request and once it sends request you have the response and in the text variable you can see that the fact is available so you can just simply do copy to clipboard and uh, this is the fact about 89 so we will do uh, insert here which is the uh, path to the fact response inside the JSON API perfect so once this is done uh, we'll quickly link the capture block to the API block the home block to the first block here and then once we have the fact we have to read it out back to the user so we'll do a uh, sorry we'll do a speak block We'll do speak obviously for both success and failure. So for success, we will do Oops. an interesting fact about user underscore number that I found is we'll just quickly add a two second break here and then alexa will read out the response just make sure you make it interactive so that user feels like he's talking to uh, a proper skill instead of 
just making it sound mechanical because anyway alexa sounds so mechanical it it is important to make it uh, sound more realistic and this is how uh, you make it a little realistic by saying stuff around uh, what you want to build essentially so um, now it is alexa's time to read out the facts so we will do number underscore fact inside curly braces which is how you uh, use the variables in alexa skills and the second block is for uh, failure so what we will do is we'll add a uh, inside this week block we'll do the api gods have decided to fail on me today please try again later so we'll link the failure to this success to here the first one make sure you link it to the block or the first one so that the order is intact once this is done and once alexa is done reading the other important step is uh, to ask the user if he wants one more fact for a different number so what we'll do is we'll quickly do a speak block and inside this block what we will do is uh, we'll just simply ask want to hear one more and now the natural response of a user for this will be a yes or a no so uh, for that you need a choice block inside the choice block by default they have multiple uh, intents available you have to just search for yes and by uh, the first one will be yes so we'll link it to this block and inside this if it is yes we can directly send him to the first one response and if it is no uh, we can just say bye because the user doesn't want another fact so we'll do see you later And with that, I think uh, we are done building our skill. The only step remaining is to link this to this. And yes, that's uh, pretty much the proper skill that we have. Since we are also uploading this to the Alexa skill store, uh, the next step I would uh, do here is to go to flows and uh, go to help flow. And inside the help flow, help is when the user says Alexa help when he is using the skill. So here we have, we can, uh, add a speak block against yes where uh, if when alexa responds you said help you want to continue what should alexa say back so uh, if the user says yes we'll say this skill fetches a random fact about the number you share and reads it out for you we are the API used here is numbers api.com that's a way, good way to give credit to the API you are using as well so now that that is uh, done I think we are good so uh, if you don't have your Alexa developer account linked already it will ask you for linking that since my account already has the linking it will ask me for obviously the invocation name cannot have hyphen so i click on continue and it will upload my skill that we just created here to the alexa skill store uh, which is ready for deployment at the moment so if you go to your account sign in into your skill store you will be able to see the skill let me quickly log in here we will go into alexa and inside alexa you can see all your skills under the alexa skills kit so you go to skill builders and go to alexa skills kit and here go to console console is where your skills are right so factor number is here uh, now that we it says upload successful so uh, for the skill to be certified you have a few more uh, things to do one is uh, creating the icon and then the next one is enter the summary of your skill fact so let us quickly type a quick summary gives a uh, to the user about gives a number based band let's just keep it simple gives uh, 
a number based attached to the user you can simply copy the same uh, what i usually also do is uh, i look up my alexa skills and then i have a credit where i ask them if they want uh, to customize the skill or if they want to see my other skills they can uh, go and right drop me an email so it's important if you're uh, building a lot of skills and if you want more customers to try and use it alexa won't allow links anymore so i am just removing this part and uh, yeah uh, the category is uh, knowledge and trivia this trivia is uh, uh, what this skill falls under so you can add keywords for people to be able to discover your skill so number facts facts about a number facts skill i'll keep it to that at the moment uh, and then we'll do next and uh, yeah when the user says back to number this will launch and done 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 uh, no specific instructions because it's a straightforward skill we won't be able to submit it for review because we don't have the uh, icons yet so for that i would uh, go to this is a simple website that you can use to create a proper icon for your uh, skill uh, you can pick anything any size because uh, voice pro takes care of uh, re resizing the image i would uh, add a background to this And then the next step is to add a text layer which is probably reads the name of your skill so once this is done i will do a save phone number you can pick any format uh, i would pick png and download this and this is downloaded so i'll go back to my uh, submission screen and drag and drop okay if drag and drop doesn't work i'll quickly do this and inside downloads i'll do i'll just select the image that i just downloaded now that it is all of this is ready all all the tick marks are done i will just go to the end privacy compliance and since you're not taking any information from the user you make sure you select yes if you're asking the user for his name or a phone number or his address or his city anything that has to do with user's personal information make sure you select yes and now that is now that we have filled all the details and everything is done uh, the final step is uh, to click on submit for review and uh, it'll just take a minute or two for the skill to be able to uh, finish all the checks and essentially all this data is getting copied to your developer console's uh, skill here and then it gets submitted for certification right so we'll just wait on the screen and then once all of this is done you should be able to see that uh, your skill is submitted for certification you'll also get an email notification as well that's it your skill is submitted for review and uh, in case you make any changes to this layout while your skill is submitted for review you have to upload it to alexa again that's it for tutorial this tutorial guys in the next tutorial we'll look at uh, uploading the same skill to google assistant it's a little um, confusing uh, if you're starting out doing it on google assistant but don't worry i'll make a easier and uh, fun way to post it on google assistant as well that's it if you like this tutorial drop a like and do share this with others who want to build alexa skills without coding and yeah keep uh, keep watching out for more and subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell icon so that you know when i drop a new video the next time